ESPN has filed um, some of the big names. Um, you know, we want to discuss this, this ESPN changing course on maybe changing course, or is it just budget cuts? Evan, what do you think? Yeah, I I tend to believe it's more just budget cuts, and we'll get into that a little bit. So let's let's talk about the names first. So you got Max Kellerman, that's a big one. He used to debate Stephen A. Smith uh, on uh, first take. Uh, you have you have Jalen Rose, who's been of course NBA player. He was a legend in college, but now he's been a long time. He's been an analyst for ESPN for over a decade. They had a lot of long time college football um, analysts get fired. Draft analysis um, people, I, I forget the one guy's name. Uh, he was big in the draft next to Mel Kiper all those years. Uh, he's gone. And then you had uh, Susie Colbert or Colbert. I don't know how, how you say the name. Uh, she was uh, with ESPN for a long, long time, as long as I remember anchoring and, um, you know, covering covering sports topics. I think she did a little bit when DeMar Hamlin just went down this past year. Uh, them and ESPN yeah. did a great job with that. We, we said that at the time. Uh, so it's sad. You never want to see... You know, people lose. I mean, of course, they're multimillionaires. They're going to be fine, right? But we're not we're not worried about that. But it's just sad because they do a good job at their jobs. We like seeing them, and um, it's it's sad to see. But really, I think this the the question was: Is this ESPN changing course? Well, I think ESPN changed course a long time ago. I think they changed course kind of in correlation with the NBA. You know, the NBA used to be this like you know hard nose, you know, basketball, drive it down, yada you know, um, this fundamental game. And there's something to be said about this, but the NBA has really shifted into more of a celebrity factor. Like they focus on players, like lives off the field a lot more. You see it a lot more in the NFL now too. Uh, What are the two sports that ESPN only covers? The NFL and NBA now. Very rarely they cover, cover other stuff, which is the problem. ESPN as a TV station is starting to compete with social media but that's not a battle that they're going to win because social media, you can go on any platform and put and, and go out towards anything. ESPN, you know, like you got the the mainstream news channels. When, when you're talking about news channels like Fox News, CNN, those are all boomers that are watching them. Let's keep it real. I love you, boomers. Thanks for watching the channel. But let's let's keep it real. Those were more mostly the boomer demographic. ESPN is not quite because it's sports related. Like I remember as a kid, I'd always go on and watch the top 10 and the not top 10, especially we'd always watch that one too. Um, Those were the big names. ESPN now is, you know, now you'll see segments. Well, LeBron said this, Kevin Durant said this, you know, we just want to see the game, right? So ESPN has for a long time, not just starting with this, been competing with social media to out social media, social media. That's kind of like with a whole more politics, uh, comparison. It's kind of like what you know. We, we say Ron DeSantis is trying to out Trump. Trump. Well, ESPN is trying to out uh, social media. Social media and is is not working out. Uh, and they've lost viewership, and that's why they're making these cutbacks because uh, they, you know, the reason is is truly it is because of you know economic. It's in in their interest to cut back on a, a couple personalities, so they did. Uh, but they're competing in a battle that they can't compete on. Stephen A. Smith weighed on this, weighed in on this. I want to, I want to get to that. But Jake, first, I just want to get your uh, initial reactions. Do you think this is changing course, or what do you think this is? Well, yeah, I, I mean, I agree with everything you said again. I always, I agree with everything you said earlier. I think this is budget cuts more than anything because they have changed course. I think you know they're focusing on the two topics you mentioned the two sports you mentioned football and basketball now I'm not talking about baseball and i can't even remember the last time they talked about hockey can you right no gosh no no i was thinking about baseball but hockey I, do they even know how, can they name can stephen a smith name five hockey players i would like to see that uh speaking of i would, let, let, I would let, like to see that too let, let, can you let, name five hockey players? Can you? Oh, oh, but hey, at least I don't pretend to be a sports analysis. But fair point. Yeah, hey, I, I could name I could name five Chicago Blackhawks when they were. Anyways, we'll we'll get back to topic when they were winning. Um, so Stephen A. Smith weighed in. He had two quotes. Uh, we don't. I don't have them directly, but I'm so I'm just going to paraphrase. It's not exactly what he said. But the first thing I did, I generally agree with. He said the reason that they fire these are the the economy and inflation. He said. Um, I would have generally agree with that. Don't don't you think, Jake? Well, yeah. Yeah, so we talked about the economy and inflation. 
But then he did take a little bit of a turn. He talked about race and race is obviously a highly combative subject. But he said that when asked, would Stephen A. Smith be the next one fired? He said, well, when a white man catches a coal, a black, a cold, a black man catches pneumonia. So essentially he's saying is I'm watching my back. I could be fired. Now, am I doubting Stephen A. Smith has a lot more knowledge in that, that, you know, area expertise, you know, how, uh, you know, African Americans are treated versus white. I'm sure he has tons of more knowledge than I do. But at the same point, you got to look at the context and you got to look at it. Stephen A. Smith is ESPN right now. It's him and Pat McAfee. So no, he's not yeah. getting hired. He might get a contract extension now. Um, now that now that the other names, I I see his point. He probably has more expertise than I do in that subject. But he's wrong. He's not wrong to bring it up. He's just wrong in that he's going to get fired. He his job yeah. is so safe unless if he wanted to walk away. Um, I think I think uh, his is safe. But it's re- it is really interesting that ESPN does take half of their guys out. I, I, it's got to give you in the heat of the moment, which he made these comments in the heat of the moment. You know, I, I understand why he might think like, oh, crap, I might be next. But he's not next. He's the star of the program. But anyways, do you think uh, there is any races going on in this, Jake? Or is it just um, what do you think is going on here? Man, I think it's just buzzer cuts. It just depends on who who they had to tell. I don't think race plays a part in this. And as for Stephen A. Smith's job, um, I agree with what, everything you say. He's the face of ESPN right now. ESPN would take a real nose dive if they fired Stephen A. Smith. So coming to you soon will be Monday Night Football. Just be ES, ESPN and Stephen A. Smith and Pat McAfee will just be screaming at each other the entire game. Yeah. <laughs> yep. um, yep. I forgot to mention they did cut – this is off topic from the Stephen A. Smith, but before we go, they did cut some more NFL analysis too. Uh, they cut Matt Hasselbeck. They cut Steve Young, who did a lot. Of, Matt Hasselbeck did Sunday Morning Countdown, I think, with Susie Colbert, and then um, and then uh, Steve Young did a lot of it. He would do the Monday Night Football. He'd not be on the ground crew, and he had good analysis, I thought. So it is, yeah. man. It is, it is weird what ESPN did. Uh, I don't know if it's for the better yet, but it's certainly not it's, changing course. Yeah, it's interesting what's going on at ESPN right now. 